Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. You know, with all that's been going on in our world, one of the things I'm constantly hearing from people is that people are really kind of struggling feeling empty. Kind of like that Groundhog's Day scenario where it's like, you know, you're working from home, distant learning, things, you know, people wearing masks, the whole thing is going on and people are just really feeling empty. Now, here's what I want to remind you is that, listen, if you're feeling empty, we need to get you filled back up again. And what I am constantly learning for myself is that the first step to getting filled back up again is acknowledging to somebody else that I feel empty. Because one of the things that goes on is that when we're feeling empty, the last thing we wanna do is tell anybody. But there is strength in numbers and you want to tell someone who is prayerful and somebody who is biblical and somebody who is walking with the Lord so that somebody else knows what you're going through so that they can be a cheerleader for you and they can check in on you and give you some accountability. So the first thing, you gotta let somebody else know. Second, what are you doing that's draining you? Because there's certain things I don't know about you, but when I'm kind of down, I also do things that make me feel more down. Maybe you're you're, you're just kind of watching too much TV. You're just kind of numbing out. Maybe you're drinking and doing drugs. You got to stop that stuff. Maybe you're in toxic relationships that you know you're supposed to be out of, but you're staying in it. Listen, you got to define what is what's draining me other of the things that you can change, and you got to change those things. And then third, what do you do when you get filled back up again? Here's what I want to tell you. I'm going to give you three simple things to get filled up again. First, worship the Lord. Put on that worship music. Sing a new song to the Lord. That's the first thing. Second, God's Word. Don't, you'll never feel empty if you're getting God's Word in. So start reading it. Maybe you're reading a section, you're reading a chapter, you're reading a whole book. doesn't matter. Get God's Word. It's a worship, God's Word. And then third, you need to serve somebody else. What Jesus said, you're more blessed to give than receive. So find a way to give to somebody else. And listen, I promise you, if you tell somebody who's trustworthy what's going on, if you get rid of the things that are draining you, and if you worship, read the word, and find someone to serve, listen, listen, trust me. You take those steps, and you're not going to feel empty for very long. So this is what I do. I want you to share this video. Listen, we want anyone who feels empty to get filled with the Lord, filled with the Holy Spirit. And in the comment section, I want you to tag someone who you know is w- making sure they're staying filled. And I want you to thank them for being a great example of someone who's walking through hard things, but really, really, really staying filled up with the things of the Lord, because obviously that's a great witness to the world. And God bless you today.